Hey guys, it's Chantel and I'm here with Joey King. How are you doing today? Oh dang it, it fell. I'm good, how are you? <laughs> She's a little obsessed with the things here at there's the There's so many the cool studio. things here. Like there's an Etch-a-Sketch, some rubber ducks, like come on. It's just like a toy store. Okay, so today we're gonna be talking about all the cool and fun projects that she's working on right now, as well as playing Pictionary Play-Doh. Play-Doh Pictionary. Yeah, there you go. Okay, Play-Doh Pictionary. So um, we're gonna see what's on our cards, and then we're gonna build them and then guess. Oh, we're doing this first? Okay. We'll, we'll build while we interview. Okay, great. That's the fun part. Oh, that's so hard. Okay, so first one. I have like ADD, man. <laughs> I know, I do too. Okay. Okay, you're Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay. All right. So, Fargo, tell us about what's going on with that and who you play and um, what can we expect? I play, how do you get this out? Uh, <laughs> I play Greta Grimley. Okay. Oh, there we go. Nope, not gonna come out. <laughs> um, I play Colin Hanks' daughter and my character is very logical and very smart mm -hmm. and like the, the rational one of the family, which is pretty great because, mm -hmm. you know, she's the kid. Mm -hmm. And she's a really fun character to play. I love getting to do the accents for the show. Um, and then also you have your film coming out with Zach Braff mm -hmm. called Wish I Was Here. Yep. Uh, so tell a us a little bit about- I people get that wrong. I was like, I wish <laughs> you were here. I'm like, it's improper grammar, okay? <laughs> Don't say it right. <laughs> uh, Stop so trying to be smart. <laughs> Stop trying to be smart. <laughs> Um, this is awful. Mine is awful. Okay, Mine so I'm is getting pretty distracted. Bad too. Uh, so tell us like about that film that's coming out and who you play in that. I play Grace Bloom, which is Zach's daughter. Okay. Um, and it's such a sweet story. It's really it's really relatable for anyone actually. Even if you haven't had similar life experiences to these people, anyone can relate to this movie. It's really about life and how there's a lot of struggle and you have to figure out how to get through those phases of struggle. How do you relate to your character, personally? Um, well, my character is very, she's again, very rational, and her family's very not rational. She's also, she's really innocent, and I think that I can kind of relate with that, because she's so, she wants everything to be good and pure, and she wants everyone to live purely and do everything the right way, so I think that I, think that I can relate with the fact that she just wants everything to be peaceful and all right. Mm -hmm. um, I'm done. Mine. You're done. Okay. Well, let's let's I think, guess. I think. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's so apparent. Oh okay. Okay. Is it a palm tree? It's it's a tree. Yes. Oh, it's a tree. Is yours a taco? Yes. Oh uh, my god. Yes. Oh my god. I thought you were gonna get this because I was like, this is really job. bad. Okay. Thank the you. The minute you folded it, and I was like, I know what you're doing. <laughs> I was unsure because of the black, but then I was like, wait, we don't have brown, so we don't have brown, I get it. So I was like, I get it.